What's up guys? So the official Dokkan Twitter page just released all the animations and details for a bunch of new units that are coming to the JP side of the game soon, specifically the new AGL uh, Dokkan Fest Kid Gohan, the first Garlic Jr. card in the game who's not going to be a Dokkan Fest unit, but he is surprisingly good and he will be on the Gohan banner as well. And we're also going to take a look at the brand new Super Battle Road LR Trunks slash Bulma. I think it's just called Trunks, but Bulma obviously is in there. So uh, yeah, with all that said, let's just jump right into it. And the first thing we're going to do is obviously watch the animations for these units before we take a look at what they do. And uh, I guess we'll start with... Why don't we start with the Gohan first? The Garlic Jr. and the Gohan first. So let me pause my own music. And here we go. Yo, that looked so freaking good, man. Oh my god, Gohan's animations, top notch. Top notch. Garlic Jr. is not bad. He looks pretty good. But obviously, they, you know, I don't feel like they spent as much time on his animations because he's not the Dokkan Fest unit. In the future, I hope we do eventually get a Dokkan Fest Garlic Jr. But for now, man, Gohan is beautiful, man. Those animations look so damn good the active skill i'm not gonna lie gave me shivers man gave me shivers the, this moment specifically like that looks so good the rocks flying around him the the crazy aura and of course we got the unit super attack too mm. Mm. i love it man justice for gohan for sure i mean i'm not saying like we don't have good gohans because obviously we do but yeah this this one looks incredible this one looks incredible. Okay, moving on to the Trunks um, LR. I keep wanting to say Trunks and Bulma, but just Trunks. And here we go. Okay, that's that's pretty clean too that's pretty clean too i really like the whole thing with the car like the the sound effects too when they're driving up and driving away um that was a cool touch that was a cool touch and i mean trunks looks he looks great you know and uh it's a cute card man it's a very wholesome card with the family um so i like that a lot too i mean to be fair like we've seen a lot of great animations for free to play lrs and this one i think is like solid doesn't blow me away it's, it's not amazing we've seen better but it's 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 dope it's dope so no complaints there no complaints there i'm still i'm still thinking about the gohan animations though man the, this the gohan though yo i love that so much man okay okay so moving on from there uh we're gonna check out the details for all three now unfortunately the homie goresh 
is on vacation. He's not available to do translations. I'm sure he will get to them at some point. Tonight, I'm actually just checking right now to make sure he hasn't posted them. Uh, oh, oh, you know what? He did post them. He did post them. Okay, so let's pop over to the Homie Koresh's page because I was going to use some random translations on Reddit. Uh, but Koresh, obviously, in my opinion, does the, does the best job. Um, he just has the best layout, like the easiest to follow. So shout out to Goresh, even on vacation, bringing us these translations. Let me start my music again so it's not too quiet. There we go. So, yo, Goresh, thank you. Hope you're having a great vacation. And uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to start here with the Dokkan Fest Gohan. Okay, Dokkan Fest Gohan. Leader skill, Heavenly Event, new category. E plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, or Bond of Master and Disciple, E plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 150%. Uh, let's actually move on to his super attack first. Full power Masenko raises defense and causes immense damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. So he's stacking defense, and he has a medium chance to stun. And then his passive, actually no, his unit super attack, unit super attack, full power Masenko, uh, raises defense, greatly raises attack for one turn, and causes immense damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. And you can uh, activate it when there's an ally whose name includes Piccolo or Krillin on the team, not including Youth Krillin or Demon King and Majin Buu, okay? So, uh, that looks good. That looks good. Stacking defense is always a good thing, especially for these longer events. And, uh, of course, the chance to stun, especially high chance to stun, it's going to be great for Super Battle Road, right? And then his passive is defense plus 158%, attack plus 158%. When performing a super attack, gains an additional attack and defense plus 58%. If there is another heavily event category ally attacking the same turn, Gains an additional attack plus 58% for the turn and stuns the enemy hit by this unit super attack after receiving an attack and all allies keep plus 3 and defense plus 58%. Gohan's busted, man. Gohan's ridiculous. Gohan's... It's way too good. <laughs> it's way too powerful. <laughs> Holy crap. Um... So 158% defense to start, which actually solves the issue that a lot of newer units have been having, where they're good turn two, or rather slot two units, right? Like they're not good in the first slot because they don't get their buff before they super, right? Or before they attack. This guy gets that 158% defense to start. I love that. And then 158% when performing a super attack, additional attack and defense plus 58% with a heavily event category ally, and then additional 58% attack after being hit, a guaranteed stun with a super attack, right? Guaranteed stun the enemy, and then additional Q plus 3 and defense plus 58% for all allies. That is so much attack and defense. That is so much attack and defense. And the guaranteed stun too, like super bad road, He's going to be so good for Super Battle Road. He's also going to have so much defense. He's going to hit so hard. He's going to be a support to make the rest of the rotation more tanky too. And he's stacking defense. And high chance to stun on a super... Wow. Okay. Um, he's, he's really good, guys. He's really, really good. Now, he has an active skill, Light Shield. Uh, can be used when HP is 58% or less. Okay. Not too bad, not great, but not too bad. Effect recovers 30% HP, guards against all attacks for one turn, and all allies defense plus 20% for two turns. So he was already a great defensive support, right? He was already giving 58% defense to the rotation. Now he's healing you for 30%. He's guarding against all attacks. He's already super tanky, so he's, so he's going to be even more tanky. And then he's going to be buffing your essentially the entire team's defense, right? Because it's for two turns. So the current rotation and the next rotation will be getting the defensive buff. I love that I love that active skill, man. It's unique, it's different, and it's 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 great. 
you know, a great defensive um, active skill right there. Links, Innocence, Demonic Ways, Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Saiyan Lineage, Gaze of Respect, and Fierce Battle. The categories are Heavenly Event, Hybrid Saiyans, uh, Goku's Family, Youth, Bond of Master, and Disciple. So, yeah, everything looks good. Everything looks good to me. Um, I mean, there's there's not really much to complain about. Um, I don't I don't think. I mean, maybe having a Krillin or Piccolo on rotation is a little iffy, but not too hard to get. And uh, yeah, wow, he's really good. He's really busted, guys. I mean, given the last two Dokkan Pets units we got, right, the, the, the GT Goku and GT Vegeta, we, we should have seen this coming, but even then, I'm like, holy crap, like, what, what are we doing right now? <laughs> what are we doing right now? That's crazy. Um, I gotta move on, because this video is getting very long already. Uh, I need a haircut, by the way, like, my hair is like, what is this? This is ridiculous. But, anyways, uh, Su Super Garlic Jr., Leader skill, heavily event, category key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense plus 120%. Passive, attack, and defense plus 160%. Gains an additional attack, and defense plus 60%. And gains a medium chance to stun when attacking a super class enemy. And then, extreme class allies key plus 3, attack, and defense plus 40%. Recovers 10% HP at the end of the turn after receiving an attack. And then his super attack, Death Impact, greatly raises attack, can be stacked, and causes immense damage, or sorry, su uh, supreme damage. And links are Demonic Ways, Metamorphosis, Big Bad Bosses, Revival, Thirst for Conquest, Nightmare, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Heavenly Event, Resurrected Warriors, Transformation Boost, Dragon Ball Seekers, Time Travelers, Terrifying Conquerors, and Revenge. Okay, so just take this in. Take this in. 160% attack and defense additional 60% and medium chance to stun when attacking super class and then extreme class key plus 3 and attack and defense plus 40% just fantastic support and he's also healing you for 10% after receiving an attack um yeah he's he's crazy too man he's not a Dokkan Fest unit but surprisingly surprisingly powerful they definitely did garlic jr I think justice for the time being. I think there could be more justice, obviously, when um, he gets his own Dokkan Fest someday, maybe. But for now, like this is quite good. Oh, also he's stacking attack. Don't forget, don't forget about that. He's stacking, greatly raising attack every single time he supers. So uh, yeah, I mean, Gohan is still like <laughs> Gohan is still unbelievable. But the side unit is not as good, obviously, but like it's fitting for how good the main unit is, right? The main banner unit, how good he is. This is a fitting counterpart. This is a fitting side unit. Like he's phenomenal. And then lastly, we have the Super Battle Road LR Trunks, who uh, leader skill is Vegeta's family, keep plus four, HP attack and defense plus 120%, passive. Is attack and defense plus 80%, he plus 1, uh, dodge chance plus 15% per Vegeta's family category ally attacking the same turn, self excluded. So if you have two other Vegeta's family category allies on rotation, then that would be a 30% chance to dodge and keep plus 2. And then all allies keep plus 3 and own defense plus 60% as the first attacker in the turn. Vegeta's family category allies keep plus 3 and own attack and defense plus 30% as the second attacker in a turn and then own key plus 3 and attack plus 60% as the third attacker in a turn. So it looks like he's going to be the most tanky in the first slot. In the second slot, he's going to be the best support unit or... Oh no, he's more balanced in the middle. Okay, so in the second slot, he's more balanced with attack and defense plus 30% and then he's going to be the best offensively in the third slot um and then his 12 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes colossal damage and the 18 key super raises attack and defense for one turn and causes mega colossal damage and his links are real lineage saiyan warrior race saiyan lineage 
uh, Shocking, Shocking Speed, Cold Judgment, Messenger for the Future, and Legendary Power. And categories are Vegeta's Family, Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Time Travelers, Andrea slash Cell Saga, Mod of Master and Disciple, and Battle of Wits. Uh, he looks really good. He looks really good. I like the versatility too, like being in the first slot, second slot, third slot, having different effects. And as I said, most tanky in the first slot, balance in the second slot, and most offensive in the third slot. Um, not much more to talk about here. He's gonna do some good damage. He's gonna get some good defense. Um, I don't think anything that's gonna like blow people away, but just like very, very solid for sure. And of course in the future, just like the other Super Battle Without Lars, he will be getting an Extreme Z Awakening that makes him that much better, right? Um, but that's good. That's good. Still can't get over the, the Gohan though, man. I'm gonna just be honest, like this Gohan is so ridiculous. <laughs> He's ridiculous. Can't wait to see him in action. I really can't. Uh, thank you, Goresh, once again, man. We we really appreciate it. Like, I mean it. Uh, this guy's on vacation and still providing us with these timely translations. Like, he was only maybe 30 minutes late, right, from his normal time. So, that's crazy, man. And I guess that is all there is to talk about in today's video. Um, highly, highly impressed by Gohan, if you couldn't tell. And Garlic Jr. does not disappoint either. And LR Trunks also looks fantastic. So lots of exciting stuff to look forward to on the JP side. And uh, global players will have to wait a little bit, like usual. But um, definitely, definitely a unit that I will be probably going pretty deep on. Because uh, he deserves those stones. He definitely does. So yeah, guys, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about all three of these units, especially the Gohan. Look at that beautiful animation, man. It's so good. It's so good. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button and also hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.